So we have um, a few more awards to give out tonight. So um, Jim Snow will be coming up to do our next award because we want to really take this time. You know, we do this once a year where we really recognize the work of people who do the work every day in the labor movement here, which we know is not easy. So we're going to move on to the next section. Here we go. So thank you for your uh, indulgence for so many less intense and powerful words. Uh, but I'm going to do my best. Um, and it's about a, a dear friend. Right here. There he is. Steve Tolman has re recently retired from his position as president of the Massachusetts AFL-CIO. He served as president for 12 years. Steve's accomplishments during that period have had a profound impact on the lives of workers in Massachusetts. And through uh, those efforts, a profound impact on the politics of this state and even the politics of the country, if you consider the effectiveness of our congressional delegation. From his days as a union activist on the railroad to his time as a forceful, and I mean incredibly forceful, advocate of workers in the legislature, to his time as our leader, Steve Tolman never, never lost his modesty, his compassion, and his passion for our movement. I might add, I have personally seen Steve Tolman put his own career at risk on a number of occasions because he put workers' interests first. And in my prior life, I worked with state AFL-CIO presidents across the country, and not a single one of them has been better than Steve Tolman at what he's done. He's been especially a strong ally of all workers on the South Coast, where, as we know, things are not always easy. And he's been a most valuable advocate for this university as a member of the University of Massachusetts Board of Trustees. So, having extolled all of his virtues, you're probably wondering what award we're conferring on President Tolman today. That would be none. <laughs> we were thinking of an exotic location in the Western Pacific for a vacation uh, that he richly deserves. But ethics restrictions won't allow that, <laughs> since he's a trustee. But we did want to recognize Steve with a few tokens of our appreciation. Uh, I've got a couple of pieces for his library. One is a, uh, a biography of our hometown hero, if you will, Frederick Douglass from the Whaling Museum. And another from one grandfather to another. Uh, the grandfathers and grandmothers in the audience will recognize the book, uh, Good Night Moon. Well, the Whaling Museum has a, a treatise called Good Night Wales. And we're uh, giving that to Steve because he's got two beautiful new grandchildren. And he says that he uh, spends a lot of time with them, so we want him to have this. And also, a framed copy of our mural downtown on South 6th Street, uh, which you'll hear about a little later. So this is an occasion for us to say thank you to my friend, a friend of working people, and a friend of this university, President Stephen Tolman. 